well, hey, hey, we're steering this thing in the right direction, electronically speaking, that is. Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. And that's what this segment's all about, electronic steering. Why do we have it, and what happens when it doesn't work? That's a problem. Let's check out, first of all, why do we have it? Well, you can see right here, it's a bunch of safety systems. It plays in with all these different systems. The anti-lock braking systems, it works in conjunction with the anti-lock braking for stopping your vehicle safely. Electronic stability control, obviously from turning around those corners you want stability you want the car to know between the rack and the pinion or the gearbox and the steering wheel where are we turning that wheel autonomous and emergency braking and lane departure there's a lot going on that has to be incorporated into that electronic steering system now what is it how does it work well there's a couple of different types of steering systems you can see the first one is fully electric, but it's mounted up in the column. We'll take a look at that in a second. Then you have what's called an electro-hydraulic steering gear. So what's happening down by the actual rack and pinion, you employ the hydraulics, but you have the electricity of the motor actually pushing it and developing that hydraulic pressure down there. Now, the last one we have actually on our Challenger right there, that's actually fully electric steering, and that's what we have. And Dave's going to check it out and tell us about a couple codes that are going on. But before we do that, let's look at the steering right here this is that one that's located on the column this is neat because you can see the motor would go right here now the key is you have a bunch of wires right here because incorporated inside of this you have a torque sensor so it knows how hard you're turning and a steering angle sensor so it knows where you're turning now you could have that incorporated into a steering angle sensor right here you're just turning to the right or to the left and it's telling that computer where you're turning so number one it can turn the rack and pinion or it can turn the gearbox but it's going to do it electronically. Now it may be built into the multi-function switch right here. So I'm turning to the right or left. It's telling it once again through a computer system how to do it. Well, how does it work? Well, check out this schematic. It's pretty simple. It just comes down for a power assembly, then it feeds down to the electronic power steering module. He's the guy that's going to do all the work, that module. Then he's going to go through some data or bus lines and he's going to relay that information back to the DLC so we can read some codes. And speaking of reading codes, now we can do it with a code reader or we got our Diagnose Pro from Continental. Dave, you're doing just that. Yeah, you got it, John. To find the DTC, the Diagnostic Trouble Code, uh, all you got to do is attach this. You turn the ignition on, uh, you use your scan tool to find the code. And once you see what your code is, you clear it. Now we're going to start over again by starting the engine. Once you do that, you turn the steering from lock to lock. So it's all the way to the left, all the way back to the right, the full range of it. You want to see if everything in the system is happy, if everything's working together well. Yeah, it's simple as that. Turn the ignition off and back on. Now, if you see a code at this point, after you've done all that, then you got bad news. Well, the good news is, you know what the problem is. The bad news is you're going to have to replace your power steering unit. And if there is no code, then it could be an intermittent problem. And if it ain't broke, John, we can't fix it. Dave, you made that look simple. Great information. If you want some more great information, stick around because coming up next is the Master Technician Tech Tip. Well, I hope you're enjoying this episode of Tech Garage, but what you might not know, we have a sister show called Motorhead Garage. You could have seen me on there years past. I'm missing it, but Dave, what a phenomenal show that is as well. Well, John comes back and guest hosts every once in a while. But at Motorhead Garage, we do what a lot of other folks don't do. They're building cars and everything. We're showing you the coolest products for your car, for your truck, anything that goes, we have it at Motorhead Garage. Man, I got my DVR set. I'm watching it every Sunday morning. Join me and watch Motorhead Garage. Dave does a phenomenal job. What a great informational show with some great products.